All right, guys. What's up, guys? It's the NJB here, and in case you didn't know what I look like, this is what I look like. So, what's up? But anyway, I did show you guys like my face in another video, but whatever. So I want to do this video because, guys, <laughs> I got the Xbox One X. So I'm gonna unbox it for you guys, and yeah, in here, you guys can see that X sign. I got the Scorpio edition too, and I didn't pre-order it. So in my last video, I said that I ordered it on Amazon, and it wasn't a pre-order. So, yeah. So I'm gonna unbox this, and you guys can see how it is. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. So I used this knife to cut it. Let's turn it around. So here we go. Let's push this back. All right, so I did move something out. So, wow. Okay, people have been saying this is heavy, but I haven't had the original Xbox One, so I actually don't, I can't really compare it to the original one. And it's been like almost four years since I've unboxed a new console because I got the PS4 in and when it came out. Oops. I got a PS4 when it came out. And yeah, so I got that in 2013. So I don't know how to compare it, but it does feel kind of like the box feels kind of heavy. So let's just cut these. And yeah, but before I do that, let me just show you guys the box. So here it is. Um, okay, so I just wanted to see if there's like, probably anything like private on it. So you see Xbox One X. Um, here's the other part. And here you go right here. I'm like, don't worry, I don't know if I'm gonna turn the console or something. But, you guys can see, so one terabyte hard drive, 4K Blu-ray, and all that stuff, HDR, 1X, then it says, all the stuff it includes right there, just focus in on that. So, yep. So... Let's just open it up. And how does this work? So I'm trying to get this part out. Okay, so I heard this is the part with like a lot of the cables and stuff. So let's just take this out first. So put it right here. All right, so. First one, this is the, I guess that's the HDMI 2 for a 4K. Um, I don't have a 4K TV right now, but I do plan on getting one. So I believe I said that in my reasons why I want to get an Xbox One X. Um, here's the controller. So yeah, here's the controller right here. You can see it has the Project Scorpio logo right here. So I know someone else, someone commented on one of my videos asking what's the difference between a Scorpio and a regular one. Um, Scorpio, there's really no difference, but it comes with a, like just a few extra stuff and it does have like Project Scorpio labels on it and all that. So that's that. So here you go. Basically, I'm guessing it's practically the same. Um, I didn't own the original Xbox One, so I honestly would not know what the difference is between this controller and the previous one. But if you guys see a difference, you can let me know, but I doubt you can really see a difference right here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I did hear that there might be a difference between like the texture on the back, but then again, I didn't own the original Xbox One X, so wouldn't really know. Some manuals, uh, no one reads that. Yeah, let's see what we have right here. And here we have the power cord, so Heard it's pretty good because Xbox usually comes with like a power supply and this one doesn't, it's all built in. I believe that's the same with the One S as well, so that's that. 
And I believe that's everything inside that box. So I'm pretty sure the console is the only thing left. Oh yeah, I forgot one more thing with the controller, guys. Because I haven't unboxed an Xbox in my 360 back in 2011. So we have the AA batteries. I'm probably going to get a rechargeable pack, but I'm pretty sure these can last me until I need one. So. Here we go, just these, and yeah, so. I'm gonna put these back here so they don't fall off the table. And yeah, so that's basically everything that came in that small part. Now let's just unbox the console itself. So, I'm gonna take out the console. Well, actually, you guys, I think we're still gonna have to wait for that. This is, I think this is another thing that comes with the Scorpio edition and not the regular edition. Um. I don't think there's anything else in here. Yeah, there's nothing else in that part, but we have to stand right here. I believe this is part that hooks to the console, so that's that. I think now we can take out the console. So, <clears throat> all right. So I did have to move some things out the way. So here we go. Let me just make sure I can grab the console itself. Take these parts out. Right, so we put this on the table. This right here. And yeah, so. Okay, you guys have seen a lot of other people in boxes, so I'm probably gonna say a lot of things you've heard before. But right off the bat, I'm gonna say this thing is heavy. Like heavier than it kind of looks for the size. It's really small. Um, like I said, I didn't have an original Xbox One. I just got the PS4. So that's the only thing I can compare it to. Wow, this thing is actually pretty heavy to hold with one hand. Like quite a few pounds. But yeah, this is the back. And this is the front. So I gotta admit, this thing is pretty small. Small and heavy. So you can see right there. So we have the power on button. Okay. Uh, I believe that's the connect your controller right here. And USBs. Um, IR blaster, I guess, for remotes. And we have the disc eject right here. And yeah, we got like vents all around it. But yeah, this is the Xbox One X. So yeah, so I'm gonna compare it to my 360. I believe you can play uh, pretty much some of my 360 games. So this is the 360. And it's kind of funny because I may not need the 360 so much if they have more backwards compatible games. So I don't really use this, but now that I have the One X and I can play new games and some backwards compatible, I may not even need to have my 360 around anymore. So that's kind of one thing I like about the backwards compatible feature on the Xboxes. So, yep. And I can't put them on top of each other. Okay, so the One X is actually still, um, it's wider than the 360. So I know this is a, it's an older console, so no one really cares, but I just wanted to point that out. And, and here's gonna be a size comparison to the PS4. And this is the launch PS4, so. You guys can see, PS4, PS4 is longer. It's like, just longer right there. The Xbox One X goes to here, PS4 goes here. It could be because of, oh actually nah. I thought it was because of the diagonal vent or the diagonal eraser look on the PS4, but it's not that. So let's put them on top. Actually, I want to put the One X on top instead this time. So 
Okay, so as you guys can see, the One X is still wider. PS4, it's a diagonal view. It's close enough. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. So yeah. So anyway, this has basically been my unboxing of the One X. Um, yeah. So now I'm just gonna start trying to get some games for it. And hold up. I think there should have been like a, a game pass with it. I'm actually just going to check the console box again to see if I missed it. Let's bring this back over. So I'll tell you guys in the video if it was anywhere else. Okay, there is something at the very end of the console. And yeah, so put the box. Oh, I didn't even put it on the stand. All right, I'm gonna do that right now. So this is what it looks like on the stand. So, that's that. I'm probably not gonna put it on the stand. I'm probably just gonna have it like flat. Probably on the opposite side of my PlayStation on the TV. So yeah. And let's look at the Game Pass. So, I want the Scorpio Edition. This is the main difference. It comes with the Game Pass. So like that. And yeah, so the code's right there. Don't even bother. I'm probably gonna enter the code before this video is uploaded. And Xbox Live Gold here. So yeah, so that's that. Also we have some instructions. So putting it on the stand and connecting it to your console. Um, there aren't any word instructions, it just shows you. So, that's pretty nice. Pretty creative with them. But anyway, so yeah, that's basically my unboxing of the Xbox One X. So, the Scorpio Edition, um, I'm pretty sure it's still available. I mean, it was available last night. I don't know how much longer, but you can still order the Scorpio Edition. And this one, it was originally only for pre-order, but apparently I was able to order it on Tuesday. And I checked last night and it was still there. And the regular version is actually sold out, in it, on Amazon at least. So they said it will be in stock on November 12th. So that's like next week. So you guys probably want to hurry up and try and get these editions before they run out. Because this one was only like a pre-order launch edition and they're probably going to stop making it soon. So hope you guys enjoyed. This has been NJP and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers mates.